everyone, my name is Dev and bring you another Battlefield 4 commentary today. Today, I'm talking about the Battlefield 4 class balance and my thoughts about it. So, over the past couple months, since E3 and all the gameplay, we've been hearing a lot and seeing a lot about how they've changed the classes and whatnot in Battlefield 4. So, Battlefield 3, uh, in my opinion, the class balance was not very good. You see, the assault class was definitely the most dominating class, having not only access to med packs the, and the assault rifles, which are the most strongest and best weapons in the game, but they also had access to M320s, underbarrel shotguns, and pretty much all that good stuff. Now, I, the other classes, they were okay. It wasn't like too off balance, but it's definitely seeable that everybody likes to play assault and I can definitely see it because that's what I have the most service stars in because it has the best weapons and the best equipment and who can who can deny having a freaking med pack and defibrillators these are pretty big pieces of equipment now with Battlefield 4 they've done a big overhaul of the classes so one big change is that the carbines which are kinda like scaled down versions of a assault rifle firing a smaller round are going to be now universal weapons. Now, I'm a little skeptical about this because I don't know if this was the best idea. We, I don't know if I want a, a recon running around with a almost assault rifle. It seems kind of weird, and I don't know if, the, if having the carbines being universal was really a good idea. But we'll see how it works out in the full game. Another thing that's become universal is the DMRs, which DMRs are something like the the SKS and the SVD and stuff like that, those semi-automatic spammer rifles as I like to call them, those are now universal. Once again, I don't know if this was a great idea because, uh, you know, now we're going to have like camping engineers and whatnot that can shoot you from like miles away and still hit your tank with a RPG. Now, I don't know, maybe it's just me that sees this, but I just don't know if, I think this is probably not the best idea is to give every class the spammer rifles. But we'll, once again, we'll see how it works out in the full game. And now, the Engineers are the only class that has access to the SMGs slash PDWs like the P90, the UMP, those type of guns. Now, I think this is was a pretty good uh, um, idea because, you know, Bad Company 2, I, I believe that Bad Company, in Bad Company 2, the only class that had access to like the Uzi and all in the UMP was the engineer class and it worked out pretty well in Bad Company 2 but you know Bad Company 2 is a different weapon I mean a different game and it worked out pretty well to use those uh, slower weapons and whatnot in Bad Company 2 how it worked out in Battlefield 4 we, we really don't know we'll have to see if it works out now as for the support class they no longer have the C4 the recon has the C4 back to Bad Company 2 type of days now, the support class will have the XM-25, I think it's called. That thing from Modern Warfare 3 where you can just, like, it shoots noob tubes. Um, what it's going to be used for, I don't know if it's more of an infantry weapon or a light armor. Um, I, I, we'll have to see. I'm not really sure about the XM-25 and if, they're, if it's supposed to be more of a light armor vehicle or an infantry thing. But, once again, we'll see. But... Yeah, the recon having C4, this is a pretty big thing. I think this was like one of their best ideas. Because with recon having C4, now they're not going to be something that you just laugh at when you see them running at your tank. Something you should be dreading to see running at your tank. Because now they can, well, slide C4 at you because you can slide the C4. That, I don't know, that's a little weird. Why can't they just add the throwing back? I don't know why they, they have sliding C4. That's a little unrealistic, unless they got butter on the bottom of the C4. If so, I don't know, but I think they should just put the the throwing thing. Of course, maybe try to limit it so it's not like Bad Company 2 where if you time it, you jump correctly and all that stuff, you can like throw it super far. But I just think that throwing your C4 was a lot more useful because you could like throw it over a ledge if you're like trying to hide from the tank. That's just my opinion. I don't know. What, what, some of you guys might have never even looked at Bad Company 2. And for you, those who haven't played Bad Company 2, I don't know where you guys have been because this game was a very good Battlefield game and the, they're like polar opposites between Bad Company and Battlefield 3. That's going to be it for another commentary. But for the, as for the class balance, it seems like they're trying to make every class have its own role now. Because now the support class is, 
um, recently they made a big overhaul to suppression, made to where only LMGs, snipers, and of course big 50 cal weapons from the the vehicles cause suppression. So that means that now the only people who can suppress people are the recons and support class, which would make LMGs a lot more useful than they were before. Now, as for the assault class, it's going to be the same thing as it was before. They're going to have the assault rifles, along with also having carbines, DMRs, and nobody knows anything about revives because we haven't seen no footage of the defibrillators, but we do know there's med packs and all that good stuff. That's, that's pretty customary. But I don't know if this, once again, a DMR thing, I don't know if that was the best idea because now we can have assault guys repair, like reviving everybody and also shooting people like across the map with a freaking semi-automatic sniper rifle. Well, that's just my thoughts. Post your thoughts below, and be sure to also like the video and subscribe if not already. And until next time, guys, peace.